What's going on friends? It is time for another recipe. Something that I really like to, to eat on a semi-regular basis. And yeah, it's just kind of my own little play on it. And the recipe we're gonna be making is uh, ramen. It is a, it's a Japanese, I don't know, it's, it's a delicacy, but it's a Japanese dish. And I like to put my own little spin on it from different restaurants and different things that I've had. And so that's what we're gonna do. So what you're going to need for my version is the following. What you're gonna need is the following. You're gonna need miso paste. You're going to need some sort of broth. You could use vegetable broth, chicken broth, beef broth, uh, whatever works for you. This is a red curry paste. This is light soy, low sodium if you want to. Uh, I know a lot of people complain about the low sodium soy sauce, so if you're a so soy sauce purist, then you know don't use that, but low sodium works for me. And then also um, a meat cut of your choice. This is pork. It's just a little uh, thick cut pork chop with pretty much the same marinade as I put on the chicken last week. Uh, it's just some soy sauce, a little bit of fish sauce, some red pepper flakes, black pepper, and a little bit of sea salt. You're also going to need, I like a carrot in mine, and then you're also going to need a ton of green onions or spring onions, whatever you like to call this situation here. And then you're going to need some noodles. These are the fresh kind. Um, the, the label says yakisoba, but, um, you know, just a fresher noodle type. And then to garnish, if you so choose, if you like seaweed on your uh, on your ramen, then you know get some seaweed. I think this was like this pack was like 60 cents, and it, you can barely tell that there's anything in it. Okay, so we're gonna get this broth going. What you're gonna want is two cups of chicken broth. This is a pretty rough estimate. If you like it, a ramen that has a lot more liquid to it, then you know use use a little bit more. I used about two cups. Uh, a teaspoon of the red curry paste, about a tablespoon of the miso paste, and then just a, a couple of dashes of the of the soy sauce because you're gonna get a lot of the soy sauce in the pork as well. Uh, you're wanna take, uh, you're obviously you're gonna wanna peel and chop your carrot to the thickness or thinness that you want it. This is actually gonna sit in the broth so it will have an opportunity to soften up. Uh, I like a lot of onions a lot of onion flavor in my ramen. So I'm gonna put half of these onions in the broth and the other half of them I'm going to use on top of the ramen noodles when I'm ready to eat it. So half of that goes into the pot after you wash it and chop it up. So I will be right back with you after this stuff is chopped and in the pot. So we've got everything pretty much chopped up and added into the pot. Um, the pork goes ahead and goes in with all of the marinade because that's going to cook down you definitely want to get as much of that pork flavor imbued into to the broth as possible so you see there's the pork there we are going to cook this nice and slow um when i've cooked meat like this for these uh, asian type noodle soup dishes um i you can go at a high heat uh, until the meat is cooked, obviously, whatever you're comfortable with. But the lower the heat I found, the better. You want to get it nice and simmered because the faster you cook it, the tougher it's going to be. So cook it nice and slow. Cook it nice and low. Low and slow. And just let it do its thing. Um, but you definitely want to make sure you're getting that pork in with the broth that you're going to use because you want to get as much of that pork flavor in it as possible. So basically, just uh, let that cook up. Once you're comfortable with it, then go ahead and take the pork out and set it aside on a plate and uh, let it cool before you cut it. So we are going to let this go for just a little while. Um, I'm aiming for between 30 minutes and an hour. Then I will be back with you. Okay, so it's been about an hour and I believe the pork is pretty much done. So let's try not to burn our fingers off. 
and set the lid aside. And what we're going to do is take the pork out and just let it sit for a little bit because you are going to kind of slice it up a little bit to go into your, with your noodles and broth. Ah, that looks incredible. That's going to be amazing. Okay. So the pork is over here. It's going to sit. It's just going to rest a little bit. And there's the broth. We've got it turned down a little bit. What I'm going to do now is those fresh noodles actually need to be rinsed. So just uh, tear the corner of the package so you, so you can save a, a dish. Put some water in here and just kind of swish it around a little bit. So we've got the noodles rinsed. They are kind of broken up in the bag here. These are fresh noodles. You can usually find these near the produce section of your grocery store. Uh, they usually have a few different kinds. If you don't have that, then you can just use pretty much any noodle you can find as long as you cook it first. Um, but right before the noodles are done, you're gonna want to add these noodles to your broth. So let's do that. You're gonna wanna cook that, keep that simmering on low for about two minutes with the noodles in it. We got the pork chopped up into little slices. We got some of that seaweed out and we uh, added it in with all of the noodles and broth and all of that goodness and garnished it with a little bit of seaweed. So let's, uh, let's see how it tastes. What do you say? It's really good. That miso paste makes, kind of tricks your tongue into thinking that it cooked for a lot longer than it did. It's so rich. It's really, really nice. Anyway, the ingredients will be down in the description. I hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you watch this. And um, I hope you know you're loved. Find someone you love, tell them you love them. Don't spill your seaweed and be good to each other. Bye. For real, you need to try this recipe. It's so good. My lips are on fire and I have soup belly. And I'm sleepy now. But man, that is a good bowl of noodles and soup.